What was the point of this? Greatest NFL team this century, the most success, the best quarterback, the best head coach, and you watch it and you don't really feel better about all of it. Yeah, you're like you're almost like why why did it so, end? like why why did it come to So that? from a fan perspective, I don't think it's all that enjoyable. The best stuff were the moments of greatness. And yeah, it's like it the didn't three games feel of DVD stuff. It didn't feel like they had enough of them. It felt like they came up short on the good stuff. They went heavy on the bad stuff and the controversies and they kicked the snot out of their head coach. I think at different times with all three of the guys, I felt like I like hated each one of them at different times throughout the documentary. Yeah, so what were they doing here? What was the point of this? And if it was to make the owner look good, I don't think by the end you feel good about that either. It doesn't doesn't feel that way based on the reaction I hear from people. Oh, it's backfired in a big way. We've been saying that for three weeks. This is backfired. I, everyone I everyone looks at it as a hit piece on a Bill. A hit piece on Bill is what people say. Most people. Well, he was kicking the crap out of Bill, and Bill was still the head coach at that time, wasn't he? Yes. In this real was, time? This was filmed prior to the season. I'd like to have the the Dynasty Season 2, where we break down the breakdown and relationship between the owner and the coach the same way we broke down the owner, uh, excuse me, the quarterback and the head coach. Right? And how that soured. Yeah. Clearly something went wrong between Robert and Bill in the final years because he is all over the guy on the record. Forget whether or not you think it's a hit piece. What he says on the record about Bill, I told him he was a schmuck. Oh, my head coach is a pain in the tuchus, but as long as we were winning, it was fine. I mean, he doesn't exactly say nice things about Bill. He goes on the record saying Bill was a problem and how he then had to go to Bill and overrule him to get Alex Guerrero back in the room. And how Bill didn't Pissed. want Tom. His power was threatened. He does not hold back on Bill. I give him credit for that. At least he talks crap on the record in this thing. Right. <laughs> He's He does not hide some of those things. Bill took the high road on a lot of it. Just not, we're going to have to talk about it. I wouldn't say it was just the high road. Not the high road. He but... was asked about Tom Brady throwing 505 yards, 4505 in the Eagles Super Bowl. And why was it that he was, you know, good in that game? And he answers by saying it wasn't good enough. Look at the other offense. Look at the Eagles. That was a sad answer. There's still some sort of issue between Bill and Brady. I don't care how long they met in the Buccaneers oh, locker room. I agree. There's definitely something sure. wrong there. Sure. They can say whatever they want publicly. They're amicable, but it's not It's not perfect. No way. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think they're buddies. Safe to say. You couldn't even say anything nice about him in that moment. Feels like feels like Peyton Manning could be better friends with Bill post playing career than Tom would. No, he's, Malcolm, he's recruiting him. I know the Malcolm Butler benching got nothing on that. Nothing new. Hurt a lot of people. So just one thing about Bill in this documentary, he Bill Bill's makeup has always been consistent, right? He like he never really changed. He's always been the same guy, but in this documentary, he's still the coach of the Patriots. So when you ask him a question. He's not going to answer because that's his makeup. I wish this was done when he wasn't the coach of the Patriots because, yes, he didn't do himself any favors, right? Not mentioning Malcolm Butler, not talking about certain reasons of why he did things. When you're the coach of the team, he can get by by not answering anything. So it wasn't a good look for him. But if he wasn't the coach of the team when they did this, he might have been more open. And that's why I feel like it falls on Bill. Like it actually makes Bill look bad. Yeah, it's his own fault, though. I mean, you could sit there and say, yeah, Tom had a great game that day, you know, X, Y, and Z, but he couldn't even bring himself to do that. There's nothing to do with his current team. But they showed that they six loved each years other. Ago. They showed them hugging after a Super Bowl win. They love you, man. What would love you? you. What would yeah. you say? Would you felt say felt awkward? If they said it, and it's also in full view of everybody there with a million cameras in their face, so they know that they, they said know it, that though. that's all mic'd up. What do you? What? And publicly, they've said all kinds of nice things about each other. But I think when you get them uh, sort of to answer honestly about something, or you read into an answer, you know that something's not right there. Yeah, something because something happened. Yes, and it, it, feelings were hurt, and people feel a certain way. Which one would you appreciate? Which which documentary sort did you appreciate more, Tom versus Time or the Dynasty? Tom Tell versus the, Time. Felt Tom like you time. got more storytelling, more background, more. Hey, this is what's going on throughout the course. Things like chronicled it. Tom versus Time. I thought it was way better. Yeah, there was a lot of Tom versus Time in this documentary. Yeah, Correct. they borrowed quite a bit of material. Yeah. To put into this. 
Those are the last two episodes. There was probably a good five minutes of it. Yeah. Do you think they made up? Remember when they lost, They played the Bucks and the Bucks beat them? I, I remember doing post game that day, and neither of them came to the podium. It took forever. But come to find out that Belichick and Brady, like, engaged in the locker room there? Like, whatever happened after that? Do we know anything? Like, was anything? Why are you guys laughing at me? <laughs> Tell them why. Go ahead. We're just talking about that. Oh, the hosts weren't listening? Yeah. A little bit. It's not like whatever like, happened. They went in and like, they hugged it out and they had that long oh, conversation. I, 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 35, I mean, I mean, 35 minutes. But, I stood but, there waiting for him to come been out. been standing here I'm I'm watching, listening it. to this whole conversation. I've never, never seen anything like it. Bill walking down that tunnel right for their locker room and goes right in. And I'm like, what the hell? Wow. Wow. The hosts we, weren't oh, listening. We were like, wow. I was locked into this conversation, too. I don't. I, I didn't comprehend oh, that. The amount of people that started to congregate after that. Like once word spread, like, but what happened there? Like, did they did they even like hint to what happened? Like they said they needed to talk things out. Like, why did you have to talk things out that day? What was it? Because was the big I think because they left felt, things on such horrible terms. Felt to me, I think Bill. To, the way I took it was, I felt to me like Bill wanted to get some stuff off his chest and begin in the a ex- positive way or negative he, way. In a positive way, okay. because like I respect the hell of this guy. He's the greatest player to ever play. I had him for twenty years. I can't let this thing just die. Like, okay, we got the game over with. We played each other. He beat me. Like, extend the hand. All branched a little bit, you know? Not perfect, but probably said some things, and Tom probably said some things back, and he said more. And, you know, hey, we're going to be in camp together one day. You know, they all know that. Like, let's not kill the relationship. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I think this was not as good as Tom versus time for the same reason that it was not as good as the last dance. The last dance was about Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah. Tom versus time was about Tom Brady. This was about everybody involved and it didn't feel like everybody had an equal Team drama. sort of yep. uh, appreciation in this is what it feels like. The last dance didn't need to put anybody down and destroy anybody to be great. Because it was just about how great Michael Jordan was and how great his head coach was and how great that team was and how great the winning was. This was about everything but just the winning, you know? And so from an entertainment standpoint, it's just like, okay, we didn't learn much that was new. We didn't answer any of the questions that we want answered. And... I don't know. Felt like there were more people involved that should have been heard from. Yeah. I'm just more pissed off after watching it of where they're at right now. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, you should like again, it did. You, you, you got, you got a lot of Howard Bryant, a lot of Nora Princiati. You know, there are other guys like we, we had Matt Light on last week. Like, how did he not get become part of? It? He didn't want to be part of. It. He said he oh. turned him down. Yeah. <laughs> he, I like. He opened up with you guys. I liked. I liked Matt Light last week. He, uh, I thought he answered some questions, hard hitting questions. Some guys yeah. would have avoided. Yeah. I mean, what does he have to hide? Right. Right? He should. Everybody should be like that. I'd have, to go, ba- I'd have to go back and find it, but I think we had uh, Felger in there for like a short little we did. clip. Yeah. We did. It was in there. I heard it. Yeah. For I about know. five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and that's why we also like Tom versus Time because we were in it. Yeah, Sarge that's right. Sarge's in it too. Yeah, we like Tom. They used our audio. You're New England <laughs> Revolution. We're biased. 